everybody and welcome to This Week in Dioramas. I am your host, Tech Chucker. If you aren't familiar with how this show operates, every week I go through Instagram looking for the coolest looking dioramas and I showcase them right here on the show. If you would like to be showcased in a future episode, all you need to do is upload your diorama pictures to Instagram and tag them with the hashtag This Week in Dioramas. Now we've got an amazing lineup of dios to showcase for you this week. Before we do that, I want to give a huge thank you to all of you. We just hit 7,000 subscribers on the channel, which is massive. I never really thought that I'd be getting there or getting that close to 10,000 subscribers, which is amazing. So thank you to all of you for the amazing support. It's been a long journey. I think I started the channel back in I want to say 2014 doing really crappy reviews. Now I just do kind of okay reviews and I do this show and this is my favorite part of the week being able to do this show. So thank you to all of you for the amazing support week in and week out, even those weeks that maybe I miss an episode. So thank you again. Let's not waste any more time though. Let's jump right on into the showcase. good to be back. Let's get this show on the road. We've got a lot of amazing dioramas to showcase, starting off with Barb, okay, Barba Gomez, I think, PH. Now, this is uh, something that I just found really intriguing. We showcased her two episodes, no, one episode ago, that was two weeks ago. Uh, she is a photographer, but she also makes dioramas so that she can then take pictures. And this just struck me because this is her in the picture. And she shows some behind the scenes with the way that she did this. So here is the diorama with the little dragon. And this is her posing, at least I think it's her posing. Uh, it could be a model. I don't know. And this is the diorama piece. So cool. So unique. I love this. I just love it. I love that, uh, you know, you guys are able to uh, mix two passions that I have, photography and dioramas, and it's so cool. So amazing job. Absolutely love this. Next, coming from Geek Art Diorama. It's a Hard Rock Apocalypse Diorama custom commission project. Thanks to Hard Rock Apocalypse. This is really cool. I really like the paint apps that you've got on here. It's very uh, gritty and, and dark and dank. And dark and dank? Eh, I think we'll go with that. Uh, there's just some really cool details throughout here. It looks to be matchbox scale. So what is that? 1 64th scale. Very, very small. This sign looks awesome. I love the way that that turned out. So very nicely done. Next, we've got some really detailed work coming from MT Dioart. This is the Gate of Castle Grayskull. Uh, they finished it today. Well, maybe not today, six days ago. The details on here are so nice. I love the wood grain that you've got on here. It looks so realistic. And then the iron pieces, they are painted so well. I love the way that that looks. Uh, it just, it really looks like real metal, which is so cool. This piece, the detail in it looks awesome. I, I'm just very, very impressed always with the work that you put in. Day in and day out, here is another piece, different piece of looks. I think this is the drawbridge. Uh, piece and I really love the colors that you've got the little bit of purplish pink with the green it looks so good I love it I just love what you guys are all doing it, it's so impressive it, it looks like it looks like a tongue here with some teeth which is exactly what it's supposed to look like I think I just I, I'm just always impressed so great job Next, coming from Augie's Dios, this is, there's not any real um, explanation, but probably doesn't need one. The brickwork or the stonework looks awesome. I love the paintwork and these roots. They look so good. I love the contrast from the gray and then the brown, little bits of green, some yellow. You got some leaves that actually looks like little leaves, which is awesome. Always love these kind of medieval style dioramas. They're gonna work perfectly with all sorts of different uh, displays. Obviously, Mythic Legions is the first thing that comes to my mind. Maybe it's not the first thing that comes to everyone else's mind, but really digging on the uh, moss work that you did 
throughout not too much just the right amount some nice debris throughout you got a couple of little longer grass pieces which is awesome to to kind of break that up and show some realism so very very nicely done on this piece Next, coming from Village Vignettes, first layer of grass is down, swipe for some progress photos. I love prog progress pics, some work in progress pics are always fun, so if you are posting up a completed dio, you know, throw in one or two work in progress pics along with it as well. Uh, this grass looks awesome, I love the patchiness of it. That is so realistic, you know, in real life, grass doesn't grow always perfect at least not where i not where i live uh, the stonework the sculpting on this looks awesome spectacularly done i just really dig it let's take a look at some of those work in progress see here is without the wall there is the base brown just ground you can see it's actually looking like real dirt which is awesome here before we've got some extra little different colors that's probably going to allow for those uh darker colors to kind of shine through in different areas see how it's kind of patchy that way that is super cool and then Here's just like sand thrown on there. So awesome to be able to see the progression. Like I said, always, if you have the ability to share some of those work in progress, I know sometimes it's it's too exciting to just get going and, and then you forget to take pictures. Take pictures at, along the way. It's, it's, it's something that uh, you'll come back to later and, and kind of appreciate. Next, coming from Saint Seiya Squad, this piece is so well done. I love the vibrance of the color. It's unique. Uh, I think I've seen, uh, so this is, let's see, new diorama, Saint Seiya, uh, is this for or from? Let me translate. I can't remember the par if that is for or from. We're just killing time now so that we can get the the, uh, okay, so it's by, by Nikki Diorama. Duh, I should have known that. I knew that. I, I just love this piece. The color scheme is amazing. I love the kind of goldish, bronzish look up here with this little effect. And then these little uh, molded pieces look amazing. I mean, these Saint Seiya Dios that you do are always so well constructed, so well painted. It's just a perfect piece to display these different figures. I I'm always impressed. Next, coming from the 3D Hut. It's a Karak Forest, Karak, did I say that right? Korok Forest, new BOTW bottled scene. This time, the Karak Forest with the Deku Tree and the Master Sword, hope you like it, Nintendo. I, I don't, it, so it's Zelda. I don't really know the 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 title or, or anything, but what I do know is this thing is fun. It is so cool looking. This tree is amazing. The facial expression, it's just, wow. This is so cool. The colors, I love the green and how tiny this is. Just look at the tininess. These little trees look so realistic. The grass, the little flowers, but this tree, I keep going back to this tree, looks so amazing. I am just stunned by the look of this. It's so cool. I mean, wow. The time and effort to go into such tiny work and to to get such detail out of it is so cool and then you've got kind of like these are almost like the leaves they're painted onto the the glass as though the tree maybe is blooming i i don't it, it's wow wow i'm blown away Next, coming from Kirk and Ryzen, since a lot of folks seemed interested in seeing how this setup was done, here's a quick peek. Uh, this little video, I think this is a uh, picture that they took, and here's a little behind the scenes. There's so much foliage and whatnot, a lot of great little accessories. You got a wall back there, which is so cool. Uh, you know, we do, we specialize in dioramas here, but it's also really cool to get into the photography stuff. Just look at the, the, the lichens and whatnot that you've got on this tree branch. It looks so realistic which is so cool and then to see the behind the scenes for these pictures it's so fun to see thank you for posting that it's awesome I haven't hit the like button yet let's do that there we go awesome next is coming from Jorge Swipix 
Not sure if that was supposed to be said or not. Uh, but let, let's see, what do we got? My take on an abandoned warehouse, the more I watch and do, the better I get. And that is all any of us can hope for, is that we keep improving as we practice. Uh, there's some details that I am really, really digging on. The one thing that I love the most, and well, no, there's another thing that I like more. Uh, but I really like the fact that you've got the little like electric outlet with the conduit. That's a nice touch that adds to the realism of your dios. Uh, some very nice paint apps that you've got throughout here. But the thing that stands out to me the most, bottle cap as a seat cushion. That's genius. I love it. That is awesome. I love that. Nothing goes to waste. Nothing gets thrown away. I dig it. I dig it a lot. I really appreciate that very much. It's very creative. So very nice job. Keep on working. Keep on improving. I really like the details that you've thrown in here. So very nicely done. Next, coming from the Shadow Gallery 718, made this custom graffiti diorama and custom Punisher Felix the cat pop as an early birthday gift for their homie brother Felix. Feeling down, okay. This is so cool. I love your work, I love the creativity of it. It's always different and unique, and I am just very impressed. This piece is gonna look so good, so good displayed up on a wall. I, I mean, wow, this is awesome. I love the blood drip that you've got there. It just looks cool with the cityscape in the background. That is awesome. This is just a spectacular gift. So great job on this piece. Next, coming from Rotten Kid 76, double sided diorama. Always like seeing double sided, modular, those sorts of things. Very nice uh, structure that you've got here. That door looks awesome. Really digging on that little control panel. So, very, very nicely done. Let's see, working light switch on the back. That's super cool. And look at that. Okay, so he's flipping it around. Boom. And boom. That's awesome. Magnetized, so you can just flip it around. Biggest thing that you wanna make sure you're careful of is uh, by having the painted surface that's gonna be you know, sitting on the bottom on whatever table, you need to make sure you're careful of what you're putting it on. Protect that paint, uh, maybe get some sort of felt or something so that you can put under it so that when you've got it flipped, you're not scratching that nice paint job. I really like the reverse side. This looks very, very cool. I like the different uh, 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 details that you've got with like the radio biohazard thing there. So very nicely done, great idea. This one is coming from Kraken Studios, the Forge diorama inspired by the Mandalorian series. If you watch the show, you know exactly what scene this is from. This is very well captured. I like the details throughout here, and especially these little uh, lights that are shining through in the Forge. That's a cool idea, so very nicely done. This one is coming from Nickel Family Farms, and I want you to look at the rock formation here. The stone is so well painted. I'm just so impressed with this. You did a great job with it. It looks so realistic. Uh, your terrain is just always top notch. It, it looks so realistic. If I could get my stone to look like this, I'd be a happy, happy camper. Speaking of happy campers, look at those guys. See that? The wordplay? That was, that was, that was not even planned, but I did it anyway. That's, that's what you get in a host. <laughs> This one is coming from V2 Garage. Uh, detail for the uh, house one twelfth scale. Okay, this is a very well done piece. The dojo looks so good. Just look at the detail. I love the weathering on these panels for the walls. And then the screen door or the... Uh, yeah, it's like a screen door sort of thing. I mean, just the details on here, the colors are so rich and so well done. I love all of the details, the awesome little light up here that's accenting the art on the wall with the samurai swords. Oh, and somebody's gonna be like, those aren't samurai swords, those are katanas or they're something else, I don't know. I, I understand, I don't know what the weapons are, but 
I know they're weapons. At least I know that they're weapons, right? Yeah, all right. This is such a well done piece. Uh, if you're not following V2 Garage, I think you should. They've got so many pieces that they've posted. I can't keep up uh, and every, I could showcase every single one because they're all so good. Next, coming from Alex Robert. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, there's no real details on this piece, but we are gonna showcase it and we're gonna guess it looks like it is a warehouse style diorama. We got Batman in here for scale. I really like the leaves that you've got on here and some of the debris. The props are what are really making this uh, stand out. The brickwork looks awesome. I like this little window with the little mesh. That looks great. The conduit, everything looks so good. The, the signs here look to be weathered so that matches the rest of the weathering of the diorama. We're gonna hopefully pan around, get a little more detail shot in here. The cracks are looking good. Love the paintwork, so very nicely done. That door is awesome, fits in a detail. What more could you want? Lighting, everything, it's great. Next, coming from DNI Dex 22, Mortal Kombat some Sub-Zero Fatality. This was a lot of glue sticks. So this is the piece that we're <laughs> that we're looking at. This is a freeze effect that they created using yeah, glue sticks. And I bet you that is a lot of glue sticks. Dang, man, that is how many how many was that? Is it like 15, 20? Well, maybe not that many cuz it doesn't it looks to be hollow. So you're going to be able to fit some figures inside in the effect as it's being enveloped. So question for you, how did you get the ball? Did you use some sort of uh, actual like ball balloon or something that you just uh, put that hot glue on and then you peeled that out? How'd you do it? Because it looks awesome when you've got that glow there. Uh, that's just an awesome effect. Now this dial looks awesome as well. The details throughout here looking great. I really wanted to focus on this because I thought I I yeah just very impressive next coming from Ernst Creations Lupin's Wedding by Ernst Creations and this is just a fun piece it is so clean it's so well put together so professional looking uh, it's just a great looking piece I love the little uh, lights that you've got behind these little diffused curtains or whatever and it's wrapped in some sort of like uh, uh, I don't know what that is, but it's got the little flowers, just like a wedding would look. And and I don't, I, I assume that this is from uh, an actual scene uh, th that you're recreating. I, I just really like this piece. It uh, looks to be like a shadow box sort of display piece that you could put up on the wall. It's obviously got the lights. We got the stained glass window, which is an awesome uh, effect, not effect, detail that you added in there. It's just a great looking piece all around. Uh, whoever, is, if this is for you, or if you are selling it, this is going to be a great piece for whomever is going to be displaying it because it looks so good. Next, coming from the Ave New York. Uh, order yours today. They've got an Etsy shop, so if this is something that you are interested in, uh, some very nice detail. I don't think that we have, we may not have ever showcased you before, so if this is your first showcase, Welcome to the crew. I like the details that you've got with the level two, the little win or window. That's not a window, that's a light. The light here, and even better, the two little yellow spots there. That just adds to it, which is great. Love the little warning uh, strip. All of it just looks great with the different details. The door looks very, very nice. So great job on this piece. Uh, welcome to the crew if you are new. If you're not new, well, welcome back. Next, coming from Rhino Dioramas. If you're not familiar with who they are, where have you been? They do dioramas. They do 3D printing items. Check them out, rhinodioramas.com. They are amazing. Uh, and they hooked me up with some really cool stuff as well. Uh, and they will hook you up with some great stuff. This is a 1 6 scale detolf size Mandalorian dio. And I gotta say, paint apps are awesome. I love the weathering. It's subtle, but very noticeable still, and it looks great. Uh, this is just an awesome piece. If you have a Hot Toys Mandalorian or any of the figures from that, 
it's gonna look amazing with this. So great job on this piece. Again, check them out. Make sure you're following them here on Instagram as well. Next, coming from Tabletop Multiverse. Different Emperor weathering added to Ultramarine Primaris something or other. McFarlane toys. So they grabbed probably the unpainted version and they painted this thing up and the weathering on here is amazing. Maybe they got the painted one and they just added to it. Whatever it is, they did a spectacular job on this. It looks so good. So uh, not only do we showcase dioramas, but sometimes I will showcase uh, some customized action figures now that uh, Life with Brock hasn't been doing his custom uh, action figure. No, I should say I'm not going to do custom action figures. I don't know enough about it. But I do like Warhammer, and I like the tabletop games. So I wanted to showcase this just so that those of you who are Warhammer fans uh, and you're the tabletop builder, uh, that that don't don't shy away from using the hashtag to share your pieces that you do for your gaming. We'll certainly uh, showcase it uh, if we if we can. So I just wanted to showcase this because the picture is amazing, the paint apps are amazing. But no, we're not getting into custom action figures. Uh, hopefully Brock will bring his show back again at some point. Next, coming from Mr. C5050, new Golden Axe Skeleton Diorama version 2.0 now with twice as much skeleton. Who doesn't want twice as much skeleton? Nobody. No, everybody. I don't know. I just had, holy. <laughs> I just walked myself into a wall. Paintwork on this is awesome. I love the different variations that you've got, the weathering, but the stonework is what is the star of this. I just love what you did with it. All of these stones look so good. You sculpted them perfectly, and then you nailed it with the paint as well. Just really digging on this piece. And this door, oh, what a great looking piece. You did such a good job. Look at the color variation on that stone and and the sculpt. I mean, that is superbly done. You really did a great job with this. Wow, I am very impressed. And look at that. That's like a giant swipe of a sword. Someone was trying to knock that down. There's battles that have occurred here and that's why there are skeletons dead all over. I'm just really impressed with this piece. I mean, look at that. Little bit of blood along the outer edge. Somebody's been dying here. <laughs> just a, a great job on this piece. Next, coming from Dart Side Scenix, this is a superb piece. Uh, uh, the, uh, these scenes that people do are amazing. The trees look so realistic. If you looked at this at a glance and didn't know you were looking for dioramas, I, I, I challenge anybody to know off the cuff that this is not just a diorama because it is so realistic looking. Look at look at all the greenery on here. You've even got roots coming out of the ground. I mean, this is just a spectacular looking piece. It's breathtaking how realistic this is. You got the little purple flowers. I mean, the, the amount of detail that's put into this and then the attention that you've taken with your picture uh, to get out into, I assume that you've taken this outside, you've got a little real mountain in the background with the real sky, and you've kind of forced perspective it so well that you don't know where the diorama ends and real life begins. It's just, I, I love this kind of stuff. It's so much fun. It's not action figure stuff, it doesn't matter because I love this stuff. I love all of miniatures, so great job. This one's coming from Death Cabin Customs, and this is a custom Evil Dead cabin made from balsa wood, foam board, groovy, blah, 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 blah. very well done. I love all of the, uh, the, the, the leaves and whatnot that you've got on the ground that looks awesome. It's just a well put together piece. You finished off the edges, which is something that I really love when people do, when you can uh, uh, you know, complete every little inch of the piece so that if you were to turn it, you wouldn't see any of the foam or any of that. I appreciate that very much. Uh, the, the details on this piece are so good. This little tree, dead tree looks awesome. It's just so good. I love it. It's a different take 
Uh, everybody has their own take. You can see these look to be like real twig, not twigs, but like sticks used as the poles. I've not seen that before. That's a nice touch. Uh, it just gives it that rustic look. And look at that. You even cut up some real pieces of wood. You've got that up here. Uh, one thing that you could do to add to it, split those like as if they were real uh, you know chunks of wood that were split ready for a fire uh, not to say that this doesn't look good but split a couple of those that'd be awesome and if you have an axe jam that into this that just oh <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love this thing. It looks so good. So great job. Next, coming from Valhalla Dio Arts. Oh, did you change the name? Or or have I been saying it wrong? I always thought it was something different. Valhalla Dio. I thought it was Valhalla Dioramas. Maybe you changed it. No, it is Valhalla Dioramas. In the okay. Anyway, sorry. I'm wasting time. I'm wasting time. Uh, this piece is amazing the graffiti throughout here this heath ledger joker that is painted so incredibly well i'm very very excited about this piece it's so cool looking the details 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 that is the that is the theme of pretty much every week but this week just has so many details i love the graffiti uh the the, the props that is just so cool with that dumpster i just love every bit of this this little power box with uh uh, Harley painted on there. Dang, you got some skills with the paint. And then look at that. Oh, this is from the Joker. That, oh, wow, wow. I'm gonna say it again, wow. Dude, you guys just nailed it. This is amazing. Ah, oh, dang, that's so good. Next, coming from Diorama's Clow, this is a modular three floor bat cave diorama. Posting more pics shortly, so make sure you check out their uh, Instagram profile for more pictures. This is impressive. They said it's a three floor modular. Wow, this, I, sorry, I'm saying wow a lot, but what other word could you use for all of these amazing dioramas? Splendid, spectacular, amazing, uh, superb. All, all of you have done such great work. I am always impressed. This is just chock full of details. I, wow. So it's 1 24th scale made for Jada toys, figures, and cars. So fairly small, but not quite uh, matchbox size. And look at that. We've got some control panels up here. We've got the, the penny and the, the, the Joker card. It's just chock full of great detail. And then you've got the full control room down here with the bat. Uh, Jeez, I almost said bat cycle. The Batmobile. Wow, dude. Get with the program. Awesome job with the paintwork on here. And then last but not least, Go Figure Go. Uh, available abandoned warehouse diorama comes with all the props. Uh, not sure if this is already sold or not, but you can see the details here. Hit them up if this is something you are interested in. This is a really cool looking piece. It's very unique. The color scheme that they're using is very different from what we've seen uh, with a lot of these different diorama pieces. Uh, very unique pieces. I'm not sure sure what this giant thing is it's some sort of like water spout and it, it's just I've not seen anything like that before it's cool it's very cool uh, these little uh, water spout things 3d printed they do a lot of 3d printing I know they've hit me up a few times uh, they've got a lot of things available as far as I know with 3d printing and what have you paintwork is awesome on here I really like the weathering that you've got around the window so great job on this piece uh, if you are interested hit them up and I I'm sure you can make a deal with them. Thank you for posting using the hashtag. Thank you to everybody who used the hashtag this week and last week, even though I missed that week. Uh, yeah, great job, everybody. Alrighty, there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed all of the dioramas as much as I did. Amazing talent, as always. Thank you again for getting this channel up to 7,000 subscribers. I couldn't have done it without you because I, I need subscribers to be able to get to, I mean, you under, it, it's math. It's just, it's counting, really. So thank you so much. Hopefully we'll have another episode next week if we do. I'll see you next week. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, share these videos out, whatever it is that you feel like doing, and I will see you in the next episode.